The Axial Spider LED headlights with amber daytime running lights and angel eye halos are for those of you with a 1997 to 2018 TJ or JK that are looking for a very unique headlight that's going to give you some features that your factory headlights are just not going to have as well as being much brighter than those factory headlights are. These are going to be a two out of three wrenches for the installation. Not really wiring to do, but you do have to pick up some additional power for those daytime running lights and those halos, so a little bit of extra work to do, but we are going to show you how to do it in just a second. Ever since the YJ and even before, the factory headlights on your Jeep have not been all that great, especially in the TJ where you have a sealed beam headlight or in the JK where you have that H13, which is a reflector and bulb headlight, but still not all that bright. And in recent years, there have been some really nice aftermarket upgrades for headlights, including something like this, where you have LEDs, individual diodes on the inside of the light, each of them having their own small projector over top of it to help to control that light. So you can have something that's very, very bright, but isn't going to blind oncoming traffic, especially when you have these things aimed properly. Now, this is one setup. There are also ones where you have uh, fewer, larger projectors. You also have just one projector for the low beam and a reflector for the high beam. So a lot of different configurations, but I like this light for a couple of different reasons. One, visually people know that you changed out your lights and to some people that's really important. Also visually you have this ring around the outside where a lot of lights won't have that. I think it adds a, a nice rugged look to the light itself. Something else that this headlight has functionally that a lot of others don't have is that amber daytime running light. So each one of these diodes in the center that normally light up white when you have your headlights turned on will burn amber when you have your daytime running lights turned on. And at the same time, you're also going to have this white LED ring around the outside. That's that angel eye halo that we talked about. I think I would prefer if you could individually switch the angel eye headlight and the amber daytime running light. You have so many different options with how you could wire them up then. You could have the uh, center amber lights be a turn signal. Um, you have a little bit more flexibility that way. That's not how these are. These have one lead here that's going to light up both the amber daytime running light in the center and the white halo around the outside. So keep that in mind. You're not gonna be able to change that. But if you like that look, having the amber and the white on at the same time, this is going to come with everything you're going to need to get that set up. So you're gonna have your lights themselves. These are going to have an H4 connector on them. Over here, you have an H4 to H4 uh, EMC, this is going to be an anti-flicker harness. So this is going to be for you guys who are installing these on your JK and you don't want to have any that flickering that you can get sometimes due to the CAN bus system and having an LED headlight that the Jeep really wasn't made for in the beginning. This is going to be an H4 to H4, but again, for you JK guys, you're going to also use this harness over here, which is an H4 to an H13 adapter. So this end will plug directly into that factory wiring harness for your lights. You're also going to get another harness and that's gonna plug into this small female spade connector right here. And that's what's going to power those halos as well as those daytime running lights. And they're gonna plug directly into these spade connectors that are on this. And you're going to have this, which is known as a fuse tap. So you can run this along the fender up to your fuse block, pull a fuse that is hot when you have your running lights on or when you have your parking lights on, plug this in, and then this harness is gonna get hot at the same time that that fuse is hot. So again, that's a good, easy way to wire up those daytime running lights and those halos without needing to cut and solder anything. It is a very all-inclusive kit, and because it's from Axial, it is gonna be a little bit less expensive than some of the other choices on the market. Coming in at right around that $150 mark, again, for everything that you're getting and for a light that's going to be brighter than factory and have some unique features to it, I think that's a pretty good deal. So like we said, for the little bit of wiring that you have to do to get these working on your Jeep, we are gonna go two out of three wrenches on this, but we're gonna show you how to do it right now. Tools required for this install are going to be a push pin removal tool or a flathead, a nut driver's optional quarter inch drive with a T15 Torx pit. All right, so the first step into replacing the headlights on your Jeep Wrangler is to of course pop your hood. Get this up and out of the way. And then next for JK models, we're actually going to remove the grill. So there's going to be a series of push pins that we have to remove first. So let's go ahead and do that now. So what we're gonna do now is bring in a push pin removal tool. And it looks like a fork. So what we're gonna do is get underneath this push pin, pry up on it, and then pry up on the base of it to remove. We're gonna do this for all six on the top, right down the line. If you don't have a push pin removal tool, you can use a flathead, just be careful. All right, here are the last three on the other side. Again, just get underneath it with the push pin removal tool. All right.
right, now that's going to be loose. There's going to be a series of clips on the bottom side. So this right here is our turn signal electric connection. What we're going to do is slide this red tab back and then press up on our tab here, removing the plug. Do this on both sides. It'll make getting your grill out that much easier. All right, so now we're going to remove our grill. I recommend putting a couple hands down here and pulling straight back to release those body clips. So let's do it. All right, there it goes. And these are the clips I was talking about right here. And there's going to be a center alignment pin. So let's set our grill off somewhere safe. All right, so now I have a T15 Torx bit. I'm going to remove the four screws holding our headlight into the housing. And I have this uh, socket right on the end of a nut driver. Remember to save this hardware and this chrome ring going around. All right, now I'm going to pull the headlight out and disconnect our wiring harness behind it. Again, it's gonna have that red tab. Just pull that back and it'll release the headlight. You're gonna wanna do that on both sides. And that one just came right out, so that one actually was not locked down. All right, as you can see, I grabbed the chrome ring off of our stock headlight. Now I'm just gonna slip it over our new one, bring that into place. But before I do that, I'm going to hook up a couple of our jumper wires and connectors. All right, what we're gonna do first is attach our adapter harness and make sure that that red tab is clicked back. And we're gonna go ahead and plug in our anti-flicker box. Make sure that seat's all the way. And then follow that up with the power supply for our halo ring and our amber daytime running light. And what we're going to do is use the longest end and I'm just going to feed it through our radiator support here so I can keep my wires away from anything that's moving, especially my fan in the front here. So let me get this fade connector back here and pull that through. Now I'm going to run these wires along my grill use, utilizing this wiring loom right here. That way I can get my other one to my headlight. And then this fused link will go into my fuse box and I'll show you that in a little while. But let's go ahead and get our headlight in. All right, now as you can see on the back of our headlight, we have that spade connector and our terminal. So let's go ahead and plug in that to our anti-flicker box and then connect our spades. All right, and then we're gonna bring this headlight up and into place. Make sure that all these wires and boxes are behind there and that our chrome ring is in the correct orientation. It can only go back on one way. All right, so with your headlight in place, we can start our hardware. We are gonna be using these stock T15 Torx bit screws. All right, go ahead and repeat those steps on the passenger side. All right, so let's take a minute and talk about wiring. And I'm talking about wiring the halo ring and the amber LEDs in the middle in general. 
Now Axial does hook you up with a split end fused wire. So you can plug this right into your fuse, pan your fuse panel here. And I have my key ignition on, so that means that we do have power running to our box here. So if you choose to wire up your LED ring and amber light straight to your fuse panel and have it keyed to the on position for your ignition, that's what they're gonna look like. And then once you turn your headlights on, you'll see that you still have that LED ring and a little bit of amber showing. Once you turn your high beams on, however, the amber completely disappears. All right, so as you can see, we ran our fused wire right behind our power steering reservoir and our radiator there. Now I wanted to show you our fuse panel where we're actually going to be running it. This cover just comes right off. So we're going to wire it right around our air box and then in this little entryway. And then we're just gonna plug it into one of these two here. And as I said earlier, this is a keyed power. So it's not constant, it's not going to be on forever. Now we can replace our lid. Clips back on there. And make sure again our wire is not touching anything hot or moving. All right, now we're gonna test out the lights before reinstalling that grill. Key on, there's my LED ring and amber light. Headlights on, high beams, headlights off, key off, everything's working as it should, perfect. All right, now that we've tested the lights, let's reinstall our grill. I'm just gonna make sure that center alignment pin is there. And then in one motion, press that grill into place and our push pins will line right up. All right, now we're gonna reinstall our push pins into our grill. All right, one of our last steps is to reconnect both of our turn signals. You wanna hear that click and lock it in place with that red tab. Do that on both sides. And that's gonna wrap up my install of the Axial Spider LED headlights with amber daytime running lights and angel eye halo. For all things Jeep, keep it here at extremeterrain.com.